Thank you, Mr. President. My question is to the Minister representing the Prime Minister, Senator Cormann. Can the Minister provide an update, an update on Operation Sovereign Borders following the passage of the Home Affairs Miscellaneous Measures Bill 2018? Minister representing the Prime Minister, Senator Cormann. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. I thank uh, Senator uh, Patterson uh, for that uh, question. Uh, Mr. President, uh, the government uh, is not and will not be distracted by the passage of this bill from our duty and responsibility to protect Australians. Uh, our Liberal National Government will continue to work hard to protect the integrity of our borders and our national security, as we have done every single day over the last five and a half years. Earlier today, the Prime Minister convened a meeting of our National Security Committee to take the decisions that were necessary following on from the contingency planning that the government had been putting in place over the last couple of weeks. Uh, we have not uh, taken the risks associated with the passage of uh, this amendment, Home Affairs Bill, lightly. We have been preparing very carefully for this eventuality. Uh, the government has decided to put in place a range of strengthening arrangements that has been in order to ensure that Operation Sovereign Borders and our operations continue to be successful in preventing illegal boat arrivals here in Australia, as occurred over the six years of the previous Labor government. All of the actions and decisions that, were, that we are taking as a government are implementing the recommendations made to the government by our relevant national security agencies and officials present at our national security uh, committee meeting this morning. Uh, we are adopting all of the recommendations that they have put to us based on their advice in response to the decisions that have been taken in the Australian Parliament. Uh, we're making sure that the Australian Border Force and the other agencies uh, central uh, to the successful execution of op Operation Sovereign Borders remain appropriately supported. Everything they are asking for, they are getting, uh, and that has involved a strengthening of the capacity of Operation Sovereign Borders across a whole range uh, of fronts. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, the Prime Minister has made a, a series of other announcements uh, which I can address in the next question. Senator Patterson. Thank you, Mr. President. What are the next steps for the government in ensuring that our borders remain strong and border protections? are not weakened by the passage of this legislation. Senator Cormann. Thank you very much, uh, Mr President. We are obviously not at liberty to go into the detail of what the next operational steps are, for obvious reasons. Uh, this parliament has already uh, tipped uh, its hand uh, enough uh, to the people smugglers. So we, won't, we won't be doing that in compromising our operations. But what I can say to inform the Senate of the uh, direct response to the legislation passed Senator this Carr. morning is that the government has decided uh, to approve the reopening of the Christmas Island Detention Centre facilities and a series of compounds there, both to deal with the prospect of arrivals as well as dealing with the prospect of transfers. The full cost of those measures, as set out in the declassified briefing, is currently about $1.4 billion. Uh, the final cost of all necessary measures will be staged over the uh, ramp-up of those facilities, and that is uh, taking place in accordance with the recommendations from the Secretary of Home Affairs uh, in relation to the implementation of the laws passed themselves through the Senate earlier today. Uh, the Prime Minister has asked Order. the Department Senator of Home Cormann, Affairs for the implementation the report. Senator Patterson, a final supplementary question. Thank you, Mr. President. Will the passage of the bill impact the Liberal National Government's resolve to ensure that Australia's sovereign borders remain strong? Senator Cormann. Uh, thank you uh, very much, uh, Mr President. As I said in response to the primary uh, question, uh, our government uh, will not be distracted by the passage of this bill from our absolute resolve to keep our borders uh, secure and to keep our strong border protection uh, framework uh, in place uh, to the best uh, possible ability uh, in the light of the passage of this bill. As I was indicating in relation to the implementation of those laws passed through the Senate earlier today, uh, the Prime Minister has asked the Department of Home Affairs for an implementation report. We will await that report before making further decisions as required as more information about the impact on the ground, overseas and on the seas becomes available. Our job now is to ensure that the boats don't come. Our job as a government is to do everything we can to ensure that what the Parliament has done to weaken our borders does not ro result in boats uh, coming back to Australia. Our government uh, continues to be uh, responsible to protect our borders and to protect the safety and security of Australians, and they now know that they can't trust Bill Shorten with the security Order. of our borders. Senator